Hi everybody, uh, today I'm just going to be showing you how I do uh, drawings and builds. I'm going to start off with some reference, just uh, copied from DeviantArt, uh, links in the description. And now we start with a very basic uh, rough drawing underneath. Now you see you start usually with like a line of action, which is usually the spine. And then uh, what I like to do is put in some simple shapes and circles to uh, define the torso, hips, and head, and then you add the limbs, which are usually just sticks, and then as you see I'm sort of just filling out the uh, general shape. You might need uh, more construction as you're starting off, and if it gets too heavy with construction you can always make another layer. Um, so right now I've, uh, I've got a bit of detail in there, and now I'm just filling in, uh, like, color picking from the original drawing here, and uh, building uh, parts. Uh, now, normally you can uh, just put these into groups instead of into symbols, but uh, I like to get started building right away. Uh, as you can see, I'm pulling around a lot of uh, like points on here. Uh, you can hit, uh, well this is in flash, so you can hit uh, Alt, hold down Alt to uh, add points to something, and I usually uh, like to like drag a line across to uh, get rid of some of the rounded corners. Um, always going back to the drawing uh, as best I can. It's really handy actually in uh, this version of the program. You can uh, cut up uh, the drawing in the background, move it around uh, pretty easily just by uh, breaking it apart with Control B. Uh, as you see, I'm moving on to the hat now, and you don't have to follow uh, like exactly what your rough is behind. It's there sort of as a guide, so this really helps you get started. It's kind of funny actually. I um, built the head a little bit bigger than I intended, so later on you'll see me shrink it down. It's really handy when you uh, build in programs like this that you have a lot of control to adjust the proportion even after you've put in a good bit of detail. But generally you want to get everything as uh, fleshed out and as accurate as possible in uh, earlier stage because like roughs uh, should only take a few uh, seconds just to get you know these little sticks and circles in there and then all the detail takes more time, especially as you go further in. Yeah, so uh, that actually pretty much covers everything I can think of off the top of my head for builds. Uh, if I think of anything else, I'll let you know. Hopefully I can get some music in on uh, this thing. Uh, right now I'm actually, uh, I've applied for uh, licensing to Monster Cat because uh, they've got really, really cool music, so with any luck, I'll be able to add uh, some track like that on top of this at some point. A little handkerchief. Like, as you see, I'm also adding more uh, detail as I'm building each part, like the little extra folds in the handkerchief. It's, um, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hard to just say as a example as an extra step of add more detail, but it really does just come with uh, practice. Actually, if you want to look into how to do uh, really good drawings, uh, I've mentioned it before in just like a comment section, but uh, there's a channel called Sycra, uh, S-Y-C-R-A, and uh, his video on uh, iterative drawings is actually really, really helpful. Um, really wish I found out about that a long time ago. Uh, basically, to uh, really get good at practicing uh, drawing, you uh, just, <laughs> well, I mean, of course you got to draw a lot, but uh, it goes over it in more detail. Basically, you'll draw like uh, 20 heads uh, side by side very quickly, uh, very rough, um, but like every time you redraw the head, you make little adjustments until you get it on point rather than uh, noodling away and pulling lines around on just one particular drawing. You actually get much more practice in and you can sort of see a very quick improvement that way. Uh, nice boots. Yeah, I really like this design, actually. Uh, the song that uh, goes with it, uh, Six Shooter by Coyote Kisses, is uh, also really cool. There's so much great music out there. If you're ever uh, wondering like how to get a project started, well, you can definitely tell that I like to try listening to some music to uh, get me motivated and influenced, and it just helps me uh, come up with ideas. So right here, also just uh, pulling lines around to get those like straight edges on the gun. Uh, but as you see, I just start with painting something in. Now this character doesn't have any like uh, solid 
black outlines, but if you're drawing in uh, whichever program, um, there's usually, well, if it's a good one, it'll have an ink tool. Um, on Flash, it's uh, just the I uh, hotkey, and what you can do is uh, just hit a fill, and it will automatically put an outline around it. <laughs> wow, jumped ahead quite a bit. Uh, so, yeah, this is just me doing more uh, detailing here. Um, pulling stuff around. I've actually copied out a uh, symbol because I've realized that the elbow was just way too low there and that, that uh, extra part there right there would actually be better as just a uh, outside of the jacket. Um, what I'm doing right now for all this uh, extra um, highlights and stuff is I... Uh, there's a couple different ways of doing it. I, here I can just rough it up uh, about to the line, but it's uh, a lot easier if you uh, copy the uh, all the belts a bad example, but uh, what I've done here is I've copied out the leg, changed the color to the fill, uh, erased around the inside while locking the layer below it, and that way uh, I have a highlight that goes right up to the line, and this is actually kind of useful later for uh, the way I'm going to animate this because um, you can add shape tweens to a degree uh, like it, they're, uh, they sometimes work uh, and sometimes you have to just go in and put in the effort to redraw a lot of frames but uh, for very subtle animation you can have it moving around that's weird I, I think I've jumped around a little bit I may have messed up a little bit with the editing uh, earlier on uh, with the program that I use for editing, um, I, I found out that I can only speed it up so much. Uh, so I was considering going back in and speeding up even more, but now that I'm narrating over it, it's actually a bit of a challenge keeping up at some points. Uh, but in any case, oh yeah, here, uh, drawing a pocket on top. Uh, I put a temporary outline on that one arm uh, just so I can see where it's all lined up. I'm, uh, oh right, roughs always help at uh, any stage of the drawing, so uh, don't get caught on noodling away at uh, just one particular instance. If you can zoom out, do a rough of uh, like where your highlights and shadows are going to be, that's really great, really handy. Uh, as you can see, I've also adjusted the size of the uh, gun there, and yeah, right now that arm is uh, too low, and you'll see later on that I'll figure that out and move it around a little bit, which is... I mean, <laughs> very difficult to do in non-vector-based uh, programs. You have to, uh, it takes more time to match everything up, so really, really definitely like working with vector. Hmm. I've been yammering for a while. I, I hope you guys are liking it so far. Doop, 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 doop. I think I'm going to take a little pause break and uh, and see if I can think of anything else to tell you because uh, there's actually still a few uh, minutes more on this video. But you wouldn't uh, notice that because I get to pause and then jump out right back in here after I think of some stuff to talk about. Uh, so yeah, never be afraid to uh, find out what your program can do. For example, it's really handy with this to just uh, adjust the color of the background and the build stage and the uh, colors of your rough so you can see what you're doing. You've noticed that I also like to, uh, probably noticed that I've liked to work a lot with um, just the outlines of the pieces that are already in there so I can see what's going on underneath and where everything is all lined up. It's pretty useful. Uh, there in like uh, Toon Boom, for example, is another program that I uh, know how to use. I, I don't have it at home, but uh, with that you can uh, adjust the angle that your uh, drawing at uh, without like messing up the overall animation. There's a hotkey for it. Uh, personally though I don't uh, use that as much. Uh, a lot of uh, artists find that it's a lot easier to uh, pull a line uh, rather than uh, push it through and that does kind of make sense but uh, for overall speed just uh, I, I get as comfortable as I can uh, drawing at any awkward angle and uh, just helps you out in the long run. That's that's what I find in any case. Hmm. So actually, yeah, there. I mean, as far as how to draw, I, uh, there's not not much to it that I can think of at least right now. Uh, it 
does help to have a teacher to and like uh, friends to go over and critique your work. Uh, I actually usually send my work to uh, a couple of friends at work who uh, also know what they're doing and it's really nice to get their feedback uh, just like at stages throughout uh, whatever you're doing because uh, it really helps to have a fresh set of eyes. Uh, if you can't have somebody else to look over it, just taking a break and coming back to it also can help a lot. Uh, yeah, ooh, man, doing a lot of adjustments on this thing. It's kind of funny, like, <laughs> uh, all it takes is uh, sleeping on it, or even like an hour later, you can come back, view a drawing, and see, what the heck is going on with all this? Like, that, that arm is still too low. Like, if you'll notice, I, I just have the uh, elbow way lower in the back than at the front, and uh, with certain designs, you might be able to get away with it uh, a little bit more, uh, with having the uh, elbows and arms all over the place, like uh, characters with super large heads you usually have to stretch their arms around if they're interacting with their face or the top of their head, and there's a, <laughs> there's a fine balance of making that actually look okay and acceptable, uh, but with this guy, he's definitely a little bit more um, uh, human proportion, like a uh, regular proportion rather than super cartoony. Uh, so he'll, he'll require a little bit more finessing. As you can see, it's taken me a long time just to build this thing, so this is <laughs> what I've been doing that's been keeping me busy. Uh, in the future, I do want to actually make a few uh, more videos that are just me uh, drawing at high speeds like this. I really wish I could draw this fast, but this is definitely sped up a lot. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see here. I think I need another pause break. I just, I want to let you know all the information without rambling too much, but uh, I don't think I can completely stop that, so let's see here. Gonna, gonna take another pausing thinking break for final notes before this uh, wraps up. Aha! Now I've thought of something else. Uh, also make the drawings as simple as you can uh, as far as amount of lines and points in there. Um, I like to have smooth as a hotkey uh, and I also like to go in there later on with the um, A as the hotkey in flash. To uh, It's a different way of uh, manipulating vertices to get rid of extra points. It's very useful. Alright, that about covers it. Thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe.